Hello, welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. Thank you for joining me today here on my YouTube channel. I'm Marcia, and I am going to share with you some fun calligraphy practice books today. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and join me every week for new videos. So Monday through Thursday, I upload new videos, and my schedule is in the beginning intro and at the end of the video in the outro. So there's a page that you can pause the video and you can write down what every uh, different thing I'll be presenting with you Monday through Thursday. And then Friday is my weekly podcast and the theme is Unlocking Your Creativity. And I share with you different tips and ways that I have personally in my life um, used since my 33 years of marriage and prior to that. So I have a lot of information to share and things that have worked for me. So here at Markets of Sunshine, you will learn Unlocking Your Creativity, how to be more grateful, and how to live an organic lifestyle to inspire your creativity. So you can follow me here, follow me on my Instagram, and on my blog at www.marketsofsunshine.com. So let me show you the two workbooks that I have. I started off with this one here called Learn Lettering by Lisa Funk, The Guide to Mindful Lettering. And then this one I just ordered off of Amazon and it came yesterday. And it is called The Ultimate Guide to Modern Calligraphy and Hand Lettering for Beginners. And I did take calligraphy classes probably around 22 years ago. <laughs> 20, 22 years ago. I remember my daughter was, was young. And um, it was very enjoyable. I had a lot of fun. And it was a few, I don't even know, four weeks maybe or something like that. And then what I did is I found, with the help of my friend, and we just went to, I think probably to whatever craft store was at that time. I don't even know if Michael's was a craft store then. Um, and I bought these chiseled tip markers and the brand is called Zig, Z-I-G. And I've, like I said, that, that was 20 years ago. So those have all since dried up on me and, um, you know, I got my use out of them. They, like, they lasted me a really, really long time. So they're really, really nice markers. So I ordered a new set. And they are to be here. I, they were supposed to come yesterday with this, but they didn't. So I was a little disappointed when I opened this today and said, where's my marker? But anywho, that's fine. So I will show you what I've been doing and how I do my practicing. So I love using the workbooks. And what we're going to do today is we're going to practice our strokes, the basic. <laughs> and I'm always saying, oh, I'm not going to tell you about that. Well, I changed my mind, and that's a woman's prerogative, right? Yes, it is. So I decided, well, I've gone through the book, and I've, I've done enough practicing of all the mindfulness, and I, you know, did the some of the alphabet with you in the very beginning. And so I said to myself, you know, let's just go back and start over again with the basic strokes. So yeah, all of these are just the mindful quotes, which are very nice. And it helps you to practice your, you know, your strokes at the same time. So what we're going to do today is we're going to just practice and I'm going to give you the name of this particular stroke. So then what the idea is, is you couple one or two of these together and that makes the letter. So that's why it is important to learn. Okay, what's the name of that stroke again? All right, so let's go and let's start and dive right in. Let's just jump right in and get our whole self wet. 
All right, now, so the first one is called the underturn stroke. Now, this is used for I, A, U, and W. I do like Lisa's format, so I, I'll get into this other one here in a minute, and we'll see how it compares with hers. So I, that's what I wanted to give you today is a comparison, a side-by-side -side comparison of two different companies. Now, this company, let me look in here and see who this is. Okay, this is called JuneLucy.com. Okay, so whoever June Lucy is, I have no idea who she is. All I did was, but then it's signed Chris, Kristen. Okay, so it says, hi, I'm Kristen. All right, but, okay, what is this here? So now let me give you a little bit. Of, okay, so this is what it says. Hello, dear crafty friends of mine. I'm Kristen, mama to the most incredible little human around, graphic designer, hand letterer, and creator of June and Lucy. Okay. So she made a website called June and Lucy, but her name is Kristen. Okay, so we, we got that part out of the way. Now we understand. But back to Lisa's. Okay. So, and this, this book here is all about your practicing these strokes, which I wanted to sit and do. I want to master this now. I mean, I have a memory that I can memorize anything I want to memorize. <laughs> Just takes me a little longer nowadays, but um, thanks to Lyme disease, I've got something to blame it on, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to blame it on old age or dementia or anything like that, no. I'm not anywhere near that, so. <laughs> but, getting back to our practice sessions here. Now, we want to memorize. Okay, so we have basic one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Okay, so we only have six of these strokes that we have to learn. So, I mean, that's simple, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's just take them, baby steps. If you know anything about learning here on my channel, we do everything in baby steps. So, my podcast is baby steps. Everything we do, daily sunshine cha uh, challenge is in baby steps. Unlock your creativity is in baby steps. I break it down for you one at a time, week by week. Okay, so we're only going to work on the underturn stroke today, and it's for I, is that I? Yes, I, A, U, and W. So let's, it kind of looks like you're going to make a U, but you don't go, or a V, but you don't go all the way up. Now remember when you're doing your strokes, when you're going down, you put the pressure, and you're going up, you do very little pressure. So we're going to practice. I love this um, tracing paper. So I'm going to probably going to have to get me another pack and I'll, I'll check around for the pricing and see where I can get. I, I, I think I'm having, I remember that I do have some of my stash. So I was using it for, um, my quilting patterns and paper piecing and things like that. So through the years I've done it used it for a variety of reasons. So the more you do a particular stroke, then, uh, you know, theoretically, the better you're going to get at it. So that's why we're going to, you know, just take this whole time right now, and we're going to practice down this whole page of this underturn stroke. So underturn stroke, get that in the little brain, underturn stroke. So it's like making a half of a U or half of a V. So you're down with the pressure, up is a little bit of pressure. We only go a little ways. And down with the pressure, light when we go up. Down with the pressure, light when we go up. So we can go under turn, under turn, under turn, under turn. This is how I do it. You can do it however way you want. <laughs> but think back when you were in school and how did they teach us that to learn something new, what were the steps? You had to read it, you had to write it, and you had to say it, and you have to hear it. So when you're saying this, and you're saying underturn stroke, and then you're making that stroke, underturn stroke, and then you make the stroke. Of course, now I'm going to say it to myself so that I don't drive you guys crazy, but get the idea. Underturn stroke. 
under turn stroke. Okay, so now I'm seeing here in this compound curve that it is basically the underturn stroke with a twist. So it's just go up and then you do the underturn stroke. Go up and do the underturn stroke. So it's kind of like doing the letter N is actually what it looks like. And it says H, M, and N. So I'm right. And I didn't even look at that. Okay, underturn stroke. Underturn stroke. Underturn stroke. Underturn stroke. Why couldn't they just say, does that look like an underturn stroke to you? No, it does not look like it. I would have named it something else. That's, <laughs> that's just me. But whoever came up with the name, this is good. Thank you. Oh, you know what it looks like now? I just realized. It looks like a backwards check mark. That's exactly what it is. We're making a backwards check mark. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Okay. I made that connection now. The brain is like, okay, but it's called an underturned stroke. Don't teach me something that it's not turned. It's called underturned stroke. Underturned stroke. Okay. So I hope you're chuckling along with me at this moment, you know. So just imagine that you're going to make, okay, so this is an I. Okay, so let's, let's imagine that. So we're going to um, imagine we're making an I, or we're making a U, or we're making, I don't even know how that could come into being part of an A. I don't get that. Okay, so you come down here, and then you make the little circle here with the A. Ah, uh, I got that. Okay, so we're making an I, a U, part of an H, an N and part of an M. Okay, so oh, now that you're thoroughly confused, okay, so underturn stroke. Underturn stroke. All right, so I'm just going to say in my mind, even though I know this is an underturn stroke, but I have to say in my mind, like I'm making an I so that then I have a focus of what I want this to look like. I don't want to just practice the stroke. I want to practice it with the intention that it's supposed to look like something. So if I practice knowing that, okay, I'm going to make this really pretty eye, then I will pay more attention and I'll give it a little bit more detail. But if I was just going to sit there and say, underturn stroke, underturn stroke, underturn stroke, then my brain is not going to give it the attention that it deserves so that I take the time to slow down and say, but now, okay, now I've got it down pat. The letter I, A, U, W is the underturn stroke. Okay, are you with me? How are you doing on yours? I hope you're practicing along with me. Don't just watch. Get out your markers. Get out your paper. Even if you don't have tracing paper, just any old paper will do. Get out your nice markers. And did I tell you, if you're new to the channel, I use the Stampin' Write markers. And this is a nice set. And this, I just pick a color at random every time. And we are working with the gorgeous grape color today. Underturn stroke. I like that. See, so now when we're doing our calligraphy lessons from now on, we're going to practice this. So we'll have five more weeks to go and we're going to practice each of these strokes. And we're going to have a test at the end. And everybody who passes gets a lollipop. <laughs> Only kidding. Okay, just kidding. All right, now let's. Dig into the new. Let's, I'm gonna leave this here for next for next time. All right, let's dig into the new workbook. Close this one up. Okay. Underturn stroke, and I'm gonna write that down. Let me write it on here.
Okay. Well, under turn, not under turn, but anyway. You know what I mean. Now, let's look at the new one. So you may, this is good because now you'll be able to decide, oh, do I want to get this other one that Marcia's showing me? And, or do I want to get the one she's been using? Okay, so we already know it's for beginners. You know it was by Kristen. So she goes through the basics of telling you, okay, here's the down stroke, up stroke, cross stroke, flourish stroke, swash. Aha! See, these names are different than what's in the other book. See, now that's one of the problemos that I had discovered in the calligraphy world is they kind of like, somebody calls it one thing and another person calls it another thing. So let's see what it is over here. Let's compare the two. All right, so in, in Lisa's book, it says under stroke. Let's go back to this page. All right, so Lisa has under stroke. She calls it an up stroke. That's not even the same thing. Let's see if we can find, let's see if we can find the same thing. So, no. Wow, this is completely different. Let me go back here further. Like lots of letter. This more or less looks like fancy handwriting cursive is all it looks like. So this is called modern calligraphy. So they have now taken calligraphy of what we were learning in Lisa's book and they are calling it modern calligraphy, which is just a fancier way of doing the strokes. And it basically looks like it's, it's simplified is what it is more or less. But it's fun, it's gonna be good, it's still a nice practice, and our aim really is to just have fancy handwriting, right? That's all we were, that's all our aim is. You know, we're not trying to win a prize for it, we're not trying to, you know, win an award or get in the who's who's of calligraphy and fancy letter writing. All right, so yeah, this is good, this is good. This is definitely, she is right spot on. It is definitely for beginners, it's the basics. You know who I would say and classify this for are for young people today who did not learn cursive writing in school. This is the book that I would say 100% would be spot on if you're wanting to teach your child cursive and give them a beautiful fancy handwriting. This is the book that I would say go for it and teach them with this. This is, this is it. All right, so now here's a stroke practice page. Okay, let's see if this has any similarity to what I'm doing here. Okay. So you basically have your heavier stroke when you're going down, the light when you're going up, which is what I keep telling you every time I'm doing mine. The cross stroke, which is just this, this just fancy swirl here. And then the flourish is apparently this little tail. So when you come around, you do a little couple of loop de loops and you take a little roller coaster ride. And then there you go. There's that. <laughs> and then the swash apparently is this stroke where you're going to make that A look real fancy. So you've done your down stroke and then now you're going to go curl up just a little bit. Now you've taken this cross stroke over there. That's the fancy one. And now you're just going to come around here and do that little swash curl. Okay. I will definitely not be trying to memorize this. <laughs> I want to do the traditional over here. I prefer to me this, this one over here is what I prefer. I want the original 
um, terminology that is taught in the calligraphy world. So these terms here are what I want to learn. Okay, so there are only six, and you know we shouldn't have any any difficulty mastering these six. So I'm going to spend more time today learning this under turn stroke, and then I'm just going to practice on this page, and fill all this in, fill all this in down here, and then I might even come in here with my other color. You know how I'll do it in the retro style, and then I'll just do it again so that I have a really thorough practice session of the under turn stroke. And now what other thing I want to do is I want to write on here that this is for the letter I a, U, and W. Okay, so that's what we need to know. And then I'll be good to go, and then next Thursday will be another calligraphy practice, and we will start on the next stroke together. So I thought this would be a good point to, like I said, come back, let's start with the strokes, let's go with the basics, and then once we've completed this six weeks, then we'll jump into putting the strokes together and learning exactly what they are and how to, to put them together. And so thank you for popping by, taking the time. And if you are listening to my podcast, I hope you'll jump over there to my blog today and listen to that podcast because it is a lot of fun. You'll really like it. So, and what else did I have for you today? Um... The Daily Sunshine Challenge is going on over on my Instagram, and I do a giveaway weekly. And to get in on that giveaway, all you need to do is use my hashtag, Daily Sunshine Challenge, with the emoji of the sun at the end. And you have to take a picture from your trip outside. doesn't have to be an everyday occurrence, but in a weekly occurrence. And then comment on my post that you see me doing of my Daily Sunshine Challenge. And that gets you entered into that week's giveaway. And I just send something from my stash in the mail to you that I've made. Um, just as a thank you for participating and I'm helping you to unlock your creativity. And uh, being out in the sunshine because it's very, very therapeutic. So I will see you in Monday's video and we will be back on our new schedule. We've started a new schedule now. So like I said, check that out. It's on the um, slide at the beginning and at the end. All you have to do is pause the video and you can write those down. And we're almost to 600 subscribers. Oh, it's so exciting. Our little creative community here, Creating in the Sunshine, is growing. And I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that giveaway information on how to be entered in that giveaway is super simple. Just subscribe to the channel and then sign up for my newsletter. And then you refer five of your friends, five people, doesn't have to be somebody you friends, somebody may, may, might follow you. We don't know everybody personally that follows us. And um, tag them on your social media. So tag, share my post to your social media. Tag five of your friends and invite them to come subscribe. And then I will be able to see that social media post. Let me know and say, Marsha, these are the five people that I tagged, and you tag me on social media. So if you're on Instagram, you find me on Instagram, you follow me on Instagram, you tag five of your friends on your page, and then I can come and see that, and I will like that post and comment so that I've acknowledged that I've seen that, and then when people come, and then I will double check at the end of the giveaway once we reach 600 and see, okay, and then I'll be able to verify and say, okay, this person referred five here are their five so it's just a little bit more to grow the community and i'm just asking for your help so sharing the video 
but take that extra little minute, second, to tag five of your friends, five of your followers, and ask them to come and subscribe. Join the Markets of Sunshine community so that they can learn and grow and unlock their creativity and just enjoy everything that we do here at Markets of Sunshine. Okay, so keep creating in the sunshine. Have a great and safe day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>